Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Um, as you guys can see, uh, this mess is uh, the mess that's created if you guys are trying to change up the AC compressor or basically any part in the front end of the engine on a 2009 Volvo V80. So basically um i think there's a there's a couple of versions uh different engines on this vehicle and before i started work on this vehicle i actually did some research on it um the other engine i'm not quite sure exactly what it what it is what it was but um all the belts and and the moving pulleys and components are actually on the passenger side this one's on the driver's side but to be honest with you um um after it was done thinking about what it took to change out the compressor and the belt um it wasn't the most difficult job that I've had. So as you guys can see, uh, the front end of the the front end of the vehicle had to be taken out. All right. Well, it wasn't taken out. I had to loosen it up so that I could actually pull it. I never actually took the whole entire front end out. So the the, the main issue with this was. Funny enough, it was the um, air intake. Uh, the air intake was essentially in the way. And the, in uh, the air intake was connected to the throttle body, which was um, under the manifold. It wasn't, it wasn't under, under the cage of the uh, air intake manifold, but it was under the manifold. Uh, wasn't able to get to the uh, screw clamp so had to take the fan off taking the fan off wasn't the hardest job unclipping it um, there was one uh, one line unclipped it but unfortunately uh, there was no room for the fan to actually come out because the uh, the two brackets uh, on either side of the fans actually kept on bumping into uh, certain parts of the vehicle when you try to take it out. So essentially, um, I had to t loosen up the front end enough to actually maneuver uh, the fan out. All right, guys. So if you're doing this job, it's not the most difficult job in the world taking the front end out. Uh, the uh, front headlight. The front headlights were easy to take out. They were uh, two L-shaped blades that popped in. And once you take those two out, the headlights actually come out. This front end, however, that you're looking at, this was a lot of different bolts. Um, and you guys would just have to look at the bolts. Originally, I thought the front end, it was just a plate. And, and after screwing, unscrewing the top plates, it would come out. But no, it's held together by a bunch of bolts all throughout um, the front end. So you have to take that those off. Once you take those off, it'll loosen up pretty good. Once it loosens up, you can actually take the um, uh, the fan out pretty well. I wouldn't say easy, but it'll give you enough room to take the fan out. So basically, my biggest problem uh, after that was actually the um, air intake. The uh, air intake that's connected that was connected to the throttle body. Um, the clamp on there was really tight, so I actually actually had to cut it. I had to cut it and put in um, a brand new uh, clamp. In any case, uh, once you guys get to the AC compressor, uh, if you guys actually want to know how to remove uh, the the belt itself, the serpentine belt, um, I have a video on that. Just look at my just just check out Peter L and then Volvo V80. I'm sure one of those videos will come up. But once you guys get that out, uh, once you guys get the belt off, the AC compressor um, wasn't very difficult to take out. It was pretty easy to take out. Um, the main problem for me on this job was actually the belt itself. Uh, the AC compressor, the pulley on it, uh, essentially seized, broke the belt. 
and um, had to actually uh, change out the belt. That part was a bit of an extra, uh, I would say an extra chore, when, when, an, an extra job actually. Uh, if you guys are doing this just to change out the belt, you guys would probably like, look at like changing out um, various different parts that's connected to the belt. Maybe the water pump, maybe the power steering pump, maybe the AC compressor, all that stuff. Maybe the, the tensioner. Um, because it, it was a, a huge job just to get to any of these parts. Changing out the serpentine belt on this vehicle uh, essentially would probably be like a three or four hour job. It's, it wasn't, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's time consuming. Um, it, it, it's, it's not like it's like the most complicated thing, but the problem with this job is there was just so many parts of the front end that you had to re the full, the whole entire front end had to be removed just to get to the uh, AC compressor, just to get to the belt. And, and, and on top of that, you guys would have to remove the uh, power steering pump to put the belt in. And you guys would have to actually remove the tensioner to put the belt in. In any case, um, hope this video has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave a question in the comments section. Uh, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff, guys. Take care.